The imagination is a wild, unpredictable creature, waiting, lurking, wanting to be heard. How many times I've let my imagination go full force and scared myself to death. I have awakened from a deep sleep and witnessed the grim reaper standing by my bed. How odd, I thought to myself. But before I could ask the question that lingered in my sleepy mind, he was gone. Was this part of my imagination? Or was he really there? And for what reason? And how many times have you been watching TV and seen a movement out of the corner of your eye? I have many times. I have also awakened to see a girl sitting at the foot of my bed. Long black wavy hair, white gown, full sleeves, full length. Her back was to me. She sat at my feet. I nudged her, and just as she started to turn around, I screamed, causing her to fade. What did she want? Was she a part of me? For me, or against me? All of my life, things have happened to cause me alarm, to cause me to wonder. How real are spirits? Demons? Ghosts? Is it just our imagination working overtime? Or is there a realness to it all? Whichever, life is full of scary moments. And when we allow ourselves, we can almost taste the fear. Some say evil things and evil beings do not exist. But I am here to tell you, they most certainly do. Have you ever wondered, when you hear of people missing, vanishing into thin air, where they went? I say the demons got them took them to their lair, and you'll never see them again. Or perhaps they fell into the other world, the scapegoat of time, wandering aimlessly, looking, searching for their way home. Who knows, really? Maybe God himself took them to heaven, and they don't want to come back.